Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and to this video on how to play with your toddler outdoors that are either free or cheap. Uh, this is a collaboration with some lovely YouTube mamas. I have a link below to a playlist of their videos where they're sharing their ideas on how to play with your toddler. And if you are a visitor from one of the lovely ladies who are collaborating with me in this video, I would just like to say welcome to my channel. My name is Abby. I make lifestyle and mommy videos here. I do hope you'll kind of look around and maybe you'll stick around. I'd love to have you as a subscriber friend. All right, let's get started. This free activity is actually yard work. Ben and I like to do yard chores in the morning before it gets too hot, and Sophia likes to kind of emulate the things that we do. So I will have her help me water plants, she'll help me pick up sticks in the yard, sometimes she'll mess around with other tools like the rake, and she'll do that just as long as she's interested and then we move on to something else. Something else that we like to do is I will grab a jar and I'll put a little handle on it with some twine and I call it the treasure jar and we will go around the yard or the neighborhood and we'll find little interesting things and we'll just put it in our little treasure jar. So this could be feathers, these could be interesting rocks, sometimes we found seashells or flowers, any kind of neat plants. And once you bring that home, you can spread it out on the table or in a tray and you can kind of look at it and talk about it. Or you can make a sticky collage using contact paper and basically you just cut out a square of contact paper that you can get at the Dollar Tree and you can tape it to the wall with the sticky side facing out and then they can just stick their different findings such as leaves or sticks and things like that onto that sticky paper and you can just enjoy it for a day or two. Another variation of this is you can do a picture scavenger hunt if your child is a little bit older. My child, she's too young really, I think, at this point to understand finding uh, what's being pictured out in the yard. But I think if your child is maybe two or getting up to three, you can use a resource that I'll have below that is a picture scavenger hunt of leaves and just different things you can see outside so that you can go on a walk and try to find those things that are on your scavenger hunt list. Something else that we enjoy doing is kind of an accident how I started this game with Sophia. We had found the seashell in the yard and I just decided to kind of hide it where she could see me walking somewhere and putting it someplace. And so I would take the shell and I would kind of tiptoe and look back at her and smile and I would put it on something. It might be something that she had to climb steps to get onto, like our back deck or it might have been our little chicken house like on the window seal or it might be you know just on a tree a limb and she would go and have to find it after she saw me hide it so I would just hide it ask her where's the shell and she would go and get the shell and she just had the biggest smile on her face and she would go and find the shell and now she's a little that she's a little bit older since we started that game I will have her hide the shell and then I will go and find it and so that's just been a fun game and it can be any kind of item that you find uh, or that you have at home you can just play that where you hide it or they can hide it and you they can take turns finding it something else that we like to do is take a neighborhood walk and I like to have her either um, pulling something or pushing something I feel like it's a little bit safer and that's of course if she's not going for a walk in her stroller if we go for a walk in her stroller sometimes I like to have a couple of books with me at, in her stroller just so that if she gets a little bit bored on a walk she can look at a book but otherwise I like for her to be out and walking so if she is pushing something like a push toy I just feel a lot more confident about having her walk on the sidewalk which is right next to the road because uh, it kind of helps me to navigate her a little bit better than if she's just kind of a free range kid um, and then if you have a wagon that is awesome too because then they're concentrating on pulling that wagon and they're not you know maybe running crazy so those are a couple of options for taking a neighborhood walk. You could also take your treasure jar with you if you wanted to collect things on your walk. And of course on the neighborhood walk we're saying hello to neighbors, we're greeting dogs, we are talking about everything that we're seeing uh, on the walk. You know just neat things that are in people's yards like the spinny flowers or real flowers or something like that. Something else that you can do is create a Dollar Tree activity basket. They have all kinds of wonderful things out this time of the year such as sidewalk chalk, bubbles, balls and uh, little nets for catching bugs and putting bugs in containers and different things of that sort. So I definitely recommend checking out your local Dollar Tree, picking up a few things if you want to just put together an activity basket that you can grab and head out the door and do something fun in the yard. 
Something else that you can do is make some kinetic sand or something called moon sand. And I have a resource link below where I got my recipe to make moon sand. And this is just really fun for children to play with, with different kinds of cups and molds. You can also find sand toys at the Dollar Tree or at Target for a really good price. And that is just a ton of fun. But moon sand does make a huge mess. It sticks to your hands. And so you'll want to do it outside for sure and then wash up when you come in. Something else you can do is put together a DIY water table. You can have different vessels of water and things like cups that they can scoop up water and transfer from one vessel to another. You can have pouring vessels that have a little bit of a spout and they can have little cups and just different things that they can just play with and splash with and have a good time. Something else that my daughter loves and that we use almost every day is our tree swing. Ours actually came with the house and so it cost us nothing, but I've also seen them for sale on Facebook groups and in yard sales and different places of that sort at, at really, really cheap prices. So you can probably buy one used at a good price and you'll get a lot of use out of it. And probably the biggest tip I have for you is to know all of your local parks. Sometimes we visit one park and that just becomes our park that we always go to. But I've decided to kind of branch out and see what is all within probably 15 to 20 minutes of our house. And what I've discovered for us is that we have a lake that has a beach that we can go and play at. We have a, a park that has a splash pad and wading pool. We have uh, some parks that have really good shade. We have parks that have good nature trails. So depending on what we want to do uh, for that day, there's like this catalog in my brain of parks that we have that we can drive to and go to and enjoy. So it's amazing how many just free resources there are if you kind of do a little bit of digging and research. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some ideas. If you have any ideas of things you like to do with your toddler, please comment below and let me know what those are. And for anyone else who's watching is trying to get some ideas, they can see those as well. And if you were a visitor with me today, thank you so much for dropping by and visiting with me. I hope you got some inspiration from this video and I hope you stick around. And friends, don't forget to check out the videos of all of the lovely ladies who participated in this collaboration. I have a link to a playlist down below in the description box. So please click on that and go see and get some more ideas from my friends over there.